Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. So I just bought this angle, uh, what is it, MR040F, I think. Uh, it's an angle 12 volt uh, fridge. It can be powered via 12 volt or 120 volt from the wall. Um, but I am interested in powering it via 12 volt because that's solar in my case. So I've got it uh, sitting right here next to my Goal Zero uh, Yeti 400. And as you can see, I've got an extension cord going all the way out to my solar panels. So I've got this thing in out of the rain now, which is pretty cool. Um, now, here's there's a weird thing going on with this Engel MR0. Well, actually, it's with the Goal Zero Yeti 400. Um, it works great for about a day. And then what happens is, you can see there that the... Uh, 12 volt socket is powered on and you can see in the LCD that it's drawing zero watts and there's a little LED right here on this uh, dual adapter and the LED's off and so it's not powering the fridge right now what what seems to be happening is after about 24 hours the 12 volt socket on the Yeti 400 just shuts down it just stops working. And it doesn't really give you any indicator that it's not working. The 12 volt supply just turns off. You can see the button's still on, the light's still on, so it thinks that it's still powering this port, but it's just not anymore. And so the way to fix that is you power it off, and then power it on, and suddenly it works again. I have no idea why it's doing that, uh, but that's a serious problem for me because while the fridge is dual power, it can use 12 volt or it can use uh, 120 volt, it prefers 120 volt. So if that happens, it's gonna switch over to wall power. That's great, but it gives me no warning that it's happened, right? I mean, basically, like, I need this thing to be reliable. That, that 12 volt power source needs to stay on the entire time. Otherwise, I'm not using solar, I'm just using the grid, right? So what's the point? Um, you know, and with a fridge, you need it to be super reliable because if you've got, if you've got like fish or something that's frozen in there, if that stuff thaws out, you're in trouble, man. So I'm, I'm really unhappy that this is happening. Uh, I'm going to contact the company and see if this is a known issue and if there's a fix available. The other thing that's interesting about this is you, you see that I have this adapter on here. Um, this is the plug that comes with the fridge. I had to buy this adapter, and the reason why is, do you see the end of that adapter? It's very narrow, right? We'll compare this to the end of the fridge. The fridge has a much wider uh, end on it, and what happens is, when you plug in the fridge to the 12 volt adapter, this green light doesn't light up, and the reason why is because there's a um, there's a piece. There's like a uh, ceramic piece inside there. I can I can probably lean this down, but I don't I don't think I can show you. Hang on. Uh, all right. See that piece in there? That piece. Those two shoulders on either side of the contact at the end of the hole. Those shoulders are too narrow. They're too close together. So that means you can't use a big chunky adapter like this. So I had to go out and buy like a, you know, it was, I mean, it was only like 15 bucks, but I had to buy this $15 dual adapter just so that I could plug the fridge in. You can see now that the, uh, the light is lit. So that's, that's something interesting to keep in mind when you're, when you're using one of these. Um, you know, I, I showed in my previous video about uh, problems with rain. Uh, I showed this uh, inverter that I've got because my inverter on the Yeti 400 is fried. Um, which is really the robo mode that did that, not the rain. But uh, anyway, you can see this one's got a narrow point to it also. So this one works fine in the Yeti, and this one works fine, but this one does not. So yeah, interesting stuff, right? Um, anyway, so I'm going to call the company, and uh, I'll get back to you and let you know, you know what they say about that 12-volt port. I'm really disturbed that this thing has a 24-hour timeout. That's... Uh, that's not going to cut it, man. So, anyway, um, but 
Yeah, so one thing that I can show you that's pretty cool is, let's see, check that out. So I've got 80, 80 watts of solar input right now uh, from two 100 watt solar panels. And the fridge on its power cycle is only drawing 36 watts. So that's pretty cool. These, these angle fridges are supposed to be super uh, low power, super reliable. They're supposed to last like decades, uh, which is really cool. And I had this on all night long without plugging it into the wall. So, and it only, it only used up about 20% of the battery here. So that's pretty awesome too. Um, yeah. So, you know, angle fridge with the Yeti 400, mathematically it seems like it would be a good fit, but uh, that 24 hour timeout on the 12 volt supply is a, a real problem. So I'll see if I can resolve that. Anyway, this is Jesse with Create This. Uh, hope you learned something and thanks for watching.